Hey guys, it's DJ with Flash Attack Reviews. Today we're reviewing Starlight by Zadars. Sorry if I screwed up your name. It's a lot better than what I tried to pronounce your other name. So the main point of this game is you rotate the stars to try and make a picture in the sky. The sound of this game is nice and calm and it loops over and over. There are no other sounds though, so it does get kind of annoying. The graphics in this game are really nice. They all look really good. The stars look nice. And it's they look pretty cool. This game is kind of boring though. You don't really do anything but re rotate the stars. And then you go to the next level and it's the same thing over and over. They try to make it a little more fun by adding a timed mode. But it really doesn't make it any more fun. It just makes it a little more frustrating. This game isn't really hard at all. All you do is rotate the stars and then it goes to the next level. There's really no challenge at all. In the time mode, you have to uh, rotate it under a certain amount of time and get through as many pictures as you can. But they don't give you anywhere near enough time to do it. They only give you 30 seconds and each one takes at least 5 seconds. So you can only get through 3 or 4 of them before it's over. Some cool things about this game. It does have a couple cool constellations though. Like Homer from The Simpsons and Kenny from South Park. Some bad things about this game is there are 64 levels and it just gets kind of annoying. It goes through all the zodiacs and a bunch of knights and stuff, plus Homer and Kenny, like I said. And it's just really boring. The time attack mode tries to make it a little more fun, but it just doesn't really do any justice. Armor Games gave this game an 8.6. I really don't see how. It's not really fun at all, it's just stupid and boring. Flash Attack Reviews gives this game. Three stars out of ten. Thanks for watching. Check out the rest of our videos.